What's up fellas, so I'm gonna be grinding over at Thornwood from now on. But yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed that little intro for the hash PvP, you know what I'm saying? I'm starting to get used to hash again. Uh, it's, it's starting to, it's just the muscle memory I gotta get back, right? But, uh, the next thing I'm probably gonna work on with him was just like getting the large scale down. Cause I'm, uh, I'm a bit rusty on that with hash. I'm not like my moose, right? Like my moose, I'm um, totally comfortable at doing like a 1v5 or whatever, right? But hash will uh, take a little while but uh from when i digested pretty much the best bond for like open world is going to be like the serpent's coil one that's just super busted and he has a couple of cool things man he can he can go for like some resets even like in large scale like down smash resets and they're it's pretty much protected for the most part now uh it's this class it just has a lot of potential and i think what i was saying is pretty accurate when i when i first saw the buffs uh awakening hash is pretty similar to uh, Awakening Musa right now, just with like less accuracy. So, if if you have accuracy on Hash, his damage is gonna be insane if you got gear. So, uh, I, I'm I'm thoroughly really excited that I, I can play Hash and Musa at this point because back when reboots hit and Hash wasn't gr that great, it wasn't a nice time, you know. We almost have this Garmoth pre-order up. We're just grinding at Thornwood. I think I'm gonna do my entire grind for my pen uh black stars at thornwood because i also need kafiris and this spot's giving me a decent amount of kafiris and for some reason uh ominous rings are like 300 mil like 300 mil right now on any so uh kind of a juicy spot for me to start grinding at this point so um i'm gonna chill out here and just grind get my gear up we're going for that sweet 700 and we're just going to stack the money and get my Kafras up in the meanwhile. I'm really just kind of focusing on uh, the gearing aspect at this point. There it is. Yeah, I mean, that Megu in the beginning, he told me he was 319, like 405 APDP, I was very surprised. I pretty much ran Evasion off in a Centaur Belt on him, and that seemed to do the trick. I mean, really, I, I'm totally confident with catching people like once or twice on Hash and then just doing a down smash reset, right? But for the most part, uh, Hashashin is a very, very strong counter to, to Megu. I don't think Megu can do anything to Hash in, in a 1v1 scenario at this point in the game. As far as that Musa that I fought, I think he's like 680, 690, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, that guy loves to come jump at me 2v1 at Archer Centaurs with like a Chonation Nation member. And then I end up having the 2v1, he like runs his mouth. So, uh, really funny, he tried to come 1v1 and me as to cry and he just got kind of bopped. So, he only ended up killing me one time and I killed him I think like 8 times. So, uh, pretty funny stuff on that end. But... Uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the hash content. As I get more used to it, yeah, that guy's gonna come out. Um, just been a while since I've like played it, but all the muscle memory has pretty much come back, and now I'm just learning how to abuse the buffs that he got. You know what I'm saying? Let's get some more ominous rings, though. There we go. Oh, dear God, stop.
Oh, culture. I have an idea that block right there. This should still work on her, if I wear accuracy offhand, just like 70 less evasion. Or I'll be able to kill her. It will be interesting. I'm just stat checking in there probably. Yep. Yeah. 